I'm Reggie Ponder, The Real Critic, and this is The 511. That's movie information in 51 seconds by one critic, that's me, starting. Also out this week is the groundbreaking Disney film, The Princess and the Frog. Introducing Disney's first African-American princess, this film looks great on the big screen, and the African-American characters look simply beautiful. I suppose you want a kiss. Kissing would be nice, yes? Prepare yourself for a classic tale in a whole new light. <laughs> This film sends a message to African American girls specifically, as well as others, that anything is possible and that alone is worth the price of admission. With traditional Disney elements like good versus evil and finding one's humanity, The Princess and the Frog proudly represents the Disney tradition. Excuse me. Excuse me? Please, it will make me human again. Set in New Orleans, the story finds our future princess as a child who dreams of making her parents proud and realize her father's dream of opening a restaurant. Voiced by Anika Noni Rose, we follow her through adulthood and some frog-filled adventures that are really funny and entertaining. I do think the use of voodoo is a bit stereotypical and somewhat scary, so young kids may be spooked. But overall, I love this film. The story, the imagery, and the music, The Princess and the Frog is a must-see and instant classic. Check me out at theblackboxoffice.com and I'll see you next week. Not the kind that sticks out, but the kind that goes in. Upon a star. Only thing important is what's under the skin. Open up the window. Let in the light. Disney Pictures presents <laughs> The Princess and the Frog. I'm Reggie Ponder, the real critic.